Warp Pipe Wednesday. That was short. Yeah, it's a short. It's a short intro. Well, I was like, it was like it didn't even do the whole thing. I don't think. <laughs> it did. Actually, it was I ready. It. Caught me off guard. Anywho, what's up? Welcome. Well, uh, other than computer problems, which is always the case with NES addict. Hey, we got a new Patreon. Someone Shh. signed up and they said they love the podcast. I gotta, I gotta at least shout them out. I Heck yeah! I, I didn't write the name down, <laughs> but they had signed up and they sent me a little letter saying they wanted to support the podcast and they, you know, they have uh, similar interests to me and you. And I was like, hey, how about that? New I Patreon. Like Sounds uh, like a winner. Da, 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 da. I need like one really rich Patreon who wants to buy me a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've been saving up on my um, on my Patreon money here, so possibly I can get a new computer. Maybe there you send, go. Maybe I could send you mine. <laughs> hey, I mean, <laughs> at this point, anything's an upgrade. So, El maybe El one day. El Flamo seventeen. El Flamo. That's the username that he chose to. The flame. The oh. flame. <laughs> well, we appreciate you if you guys do want to. Jump on to the Patreon. It's just over at uh, Russ Lyman. It's under mine, patreon.com slash Russ Lyman. I usually post a ton on there. I'll post publicly a bunch of stuff, and then I'll try to post kind of behind the scenes stuff as well. I've uh, been working on a bunch of videos, so I usually post my like timeline of my editing. Be like, this is how much work I'm doing. <laughs> Get that only Russ content. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I've been trying to plan ahead and and get ahead on, on the schedule, but it hasn't working so far. But I did this past week's top three Tuesday video started it out on Tuesday. I do have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays off from work. So I'm kind of writing the episode, capturing the footage. I'll put Gwen to bed for a nap and I'll try to record my like voiceover stuff edit a little bit more while she's out and then she naps at three o'clock as well and i'll finish up but i didn't finish editing till like 7 30 i think on tuesday and then was exporting and i did a premiere at like 9 9 p.m i think i was like oh, yeah I'd love because to i was early i was shocked that i made the video because uh, I was like, I just commented this earlier today so i was like russ must have been working on this all day well someone made like three or four more comments later. And I was like, Oh, I would have loved to include those as well. Cause I'm usually late to posting what the topic is. So people can chime in. I, I'd like to try to post it Monday, but sometimes I'm like on the fence. Uh, and then I'm also still trying to get like the guest each week. So right. I, yeah, like, I saw you got uh Sean. That was cool. It's funny. Cause I had messaged him on like, thursday or something it was like yo dude you want to jump in on this and he's like yeah no problem like i'll knock it out and then i had to message him like i don't know if it was tuesday morning or monday or something i was like hey just checking in and he's like oh crap i forgot he's like let me let me shower and then i'll film something quick that's like that was super cool of him to do it you know yeah i'm sure sean's a busy man so i'm gonna try to get a you know a few more people out Uh, i did see um jay love posted they're coming back in the summer it's gonna be making videos oh snap a lap so who wants to get slapped by the j love <laughs> it's coming Summer i remember i got really i was i was live streaming one night i was having a few beers while i was live streaming and i like slapped the crap out of myself for j love <laughs> just getting into it yeah well, i just just i just went hard you guys maybe maybe you think you think they deserve one here live you get slapped <laughs> Good slap of Jay. If you're watching on YouTube, you get to enjoy this. If you're watching, you get to see it. But if you're if you're audio, I'll try to make it real loud for you. Let me take this earpiece out before I knock it out of my head. Ready? Here we go. Ooh, my, <laughs> caught myself right in the ear, so it's ringing real hard right now. There you go. That's How did it come you, about? Do we know why J Love has the slap thing? I don't know, but I had to beg her to slap me at a convention one time. She and she wouldn't do it, you know. It was like she was like she kind of gave me a little. I was like, no, yeah, Jayla, you gotta hit me that. hard. <laughs> I don't think she ever would do it, so I just did it to myself. She Fair didn't enough. have the heart. She didn't have. She didn't want to hurt me. <laughs> see, it? I don't know if you can see his little rosy right there, a little red. 
Jay's slapping himself. Jeez. What, what is our it's podcast? myself become? silly. <laughs> What's that? I said, what has our podcast become? No, cheap thrills. Um, I've been <laughs> playing a bunch of games, luckily. I had time to play some, some NES stuff and some stuff on my PS5. I just recently went through uh, Kickmaster on NES. Yeah, what would you think of that? It was a good one, yeah, definitely, for sure. It has these different mechanics that you're not used to or that you've seen in other games where each enemy you hit, three items come out, and then you need to choose right away because they're falling to the ground. Whether you right. want health, you want to get magic, or an upgrade, like because the way you level up in the game is collecting that instead of like a traditional game. I guess like a RPG where you'd be fighting battles and gain experience. But and, I, and, and is it am I not wrong that sometimes it's it's like a negative attribute, like it takes away something or well there was a like a skull and crossbone that came up, so you gotta avoid yeah. that sometimes. And right. and once you start getting leveling up some, you can almost catch two of them out of the sky because you get like a slide so you can kind of jump, get one, and then go across the ground, get the Ooh. other one. But I didn't completely level up. I think there's seven level ups, and I only did, I only got to six because I had mm. thought you suck. <laughs> I had thought <laughs> you could, um, once you reach the level and then you die, I thought you had kept the level. But when you continue uh, the stage, you're back down a level. So you, okay. need, you only keep the level once you complete the level that you're on and i was on the last level and i was like oh well i'll just level up to the highest you can and i was like oh you don't keep it and i was like oh, oh man that's a bummer but we we got through it and i i didn't beat it on youtube but the next day i streamed on twitch and i ended up uh beating it on there safe so, states or no safe states no safe states so i could get to the i mean it's tough for the last level Is it? you gotta you gotta you got like two mini bosses and then when you get to the last guy, you have to fight four like knights that change into different enemies. And once you beat them, then you fight the last boss. And the so last boss is, is pretty easy if you have one of the magic things where it's like an earthquake and it freezes the enemy. So you can freeze hmm. her and just like kick her. Oh, it's a woman? Freezer. Yeah, I want to say it's a woman. There's like long hair. I don't okay. know. It's like a witch, a wolf, I don't a know. witch, I don't know. a hairy witch. It's hard to tell. It's eight bit. <laughs> yeah, you know, eight bit hairy witch. So I played through that, and um, what was the other one I just played through? Oh, uh, Dragon Fighter. Oh yeah, I just I, played through that's today. like that's actually an NES game I don't own. It's and expensive. Is it okay? Some people were saying that in the, in the stream, but it's a fun one. You you play as a warrior and you get a meter. And then you can turn yourself into a dragon that flies across the screen. And it's almost like a, a shooter. But you have a limited time as the dragon. And you kind of oh, go cool. back and forth. And then the very, very last level, you're, you're just the dragon. And then it picks up and it's just a shooter, just a side-scrolling shooter. And you fight the last boss. So it was pretty cool. I guess it's expensive. So if you can't yeah. emulate it to play it, it was a good one. I think I have. Maybe it's on my NES Classic that's modded. I'll have, to, I'll have to give it a try. The soundtrack's really good, too. On that one. I've been working on a video. Uh, I, I got a lot of different people that's, that's in on it. So like they're going to be like, number seven. And then I'll you know talk about uh, one of the top ten NES games that I want to complete. So I have that filmed. And I have some of the parts in. I just need to edit it. And the biggest thing that's been holding me back is I haven't found time to get the gameplay. Mm-hmm. So I need a little bit of gameplay for each game. So obviously, um, I'm probably going to be real lazy and it'll be like the first level because I don't feel like playing all the way to like the fourth or fifth level just to show how far I can get, just to show 45 seconds of gameplay. So, <laughs> well, that's what I've I've run into. So I've been doing the top three Tuesdays each week, and they usually cover NES games. And I spend about an hour capturing footage, and I try to just do three minutes like per game i'm using my classic right. as well so I'll, like yeah. load up the game like and i'll play it in order so this way when i import the footage everything's like it's just in right order. there um and it, it i know most people don't 
complain too much. Some of it, like Mega Man, okay, I played two levels um, quickly. You know, I'll like restart the game, get a little bit more of a second level just to have some right. variety in it. Right. But for the most part, no one really complained like, oh, it's only this one part that I keep seeing you play. Like a lot of yeah. my friends, Sean Riggs, uh, Square Pegs, uh, a, lot, a lot of those guys that do the top 10 videos and all that. Usually when I see the footage dropped in, it's just like one clip. Like it's just playing. Right. It's a 30 second clip and there's no cuts in between. So you're like, that's probably going to be me. It's, it's going to be me. It's going to be me. <laughs> I got to I got to give you a heads up, Russ. In this mm. in this video, I incite violence on you. Oh, good. I take it back. But I incite violence. You'll you'll know it when you see it. All right. <laughs> I have to start working on, on my uh, video response of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I was just I was comment I comment on a game that you that you beat and I said, Stupid Russ, how to punch him in his face. He beat that before me. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. No, but uh, I don't I don't so a lot of times when I do videos, I don't do a script. Okay. I just say something until I'm happy with the take and then I move on. Does that make sense? Yeah, like you know that that was the take it's essentially. Like yeah like i'll just kind of like i'll just kind of like ad lib it and then i'm like oh that was a pretty good take M moving on to the next game you know what i mean gotcha so that's a little peek behind the curtain i don't write scripts no i used to write scripts only when i did uh the nintendo power time machine what did i call that i called that retro rewind videos gotcha but yeah so i, I, I could pull back the curtain on mine here i could pull up my um my doc so this is what i've been doing for top three tuesdays Ooh. essentially breaking down. So I was either going to do my most expensive loose games, complete in box, and they said they wanted a mix of both, which only had right. two mix anyways that were loose. So these could be future videos. I'll revisit them. But I do have to script it because I'm talking to Rob the robot. That's right. And I need to have the jokes written or what I'm going to say to him. So I kind of break it up like this. I have my intro. I'm in yellow. Retro video game prices has changed over the last few years where some games jumped in hundreds of dollars, others staying about the same. And then Rob would say, I put it in red. Nostalgia can play a large role in the spike of popularity in retro games and people wanting to relive those awesome childhood memories. Oh, wow. Well said, Rob. I'm pretty sure plenty of people watch the channel and enjoy reminiscing of the past. And Rob says, here we go again. You think people are actually going to watch this channel? <laughs> <laughs> Rob's such a jerk. So I try to break it up and then I go intro to the show. Then I know what I'm going to say again. And now I do my three games. I got Mega Man 5, Zen, Intergalactic Ninja, and Zelda 2. So I'll do gameplay footage of that. And that's just off the cuff. I'm doing voiceover over the gameplay. So I don't have right. that scripted. And then it will come back on screen to the kind of break up the gameplay where me and Rob exchange two quick sentences. Yeah. And then I broke it up two more games. We do another thing, two more games, and then I finally, all right, let's hear from, you know, the comments. So I kind of got this format it because, again, I was talking about doing the top three Tuesday. Three is just too short, right? Even with right. guests and stuff. And everyone loves top tens, but top ten Tuesday doesn't, I guess. Have so a it's like a, it's it. a, it's actually a top 13 usually, right? Yeah, like it could be as many, but then we showcase my top three. Like I have the little countdowns for the right. Three. So, right um yeah that's kind of kind of the format i've been doing with which, it which that's great i love the green screen with the power glove that's so cool oh yeah it's me coming out it's like number one yeah. number two yeah that's that's cool and then this week um if you had watched the top three tuesday so far each episode i've changed slightly little things and whether you can see it or not or see if it improved but for this week i ended up not even having rob in camera at all he was completely green screened the whole video okay um so i would just i kind of had you know know where he is so i can turn speak to him react right. and all that and then i put the green screen in and what i ended up doing because i liked it better i have him on a tripod with a stand and it's like loose a little bit so i was like hiding underneath and i could right. rotate the stand to just give him a little some, animation just very slight movement so he's just not static the entire right. video 
And I think it turned He's out possessed. a little bit better. Right, right. Because <laughs> it's hard because he doesn't have eyes or expression. So it's hard to show like he's alive or whatever. So I have a question, Russ, because I've always, I think this every time. So I can clearly tell that Rob is your voice, but like with an effect on it. Okay. But my question is, do you enunciate a, a little differently or like try to change your voice at all? Or do you just really uh, hope that the effect is enough change for it? I, I just, I just wanted to know. Right. Uh, no, that's definitely a good question. Um, and I'm still perfecting it being only three episodes in. Like, right. I, I and I'm not be... trying to critique. I'm just, just I just want to pick. Well, like I said, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Each, each episode, you know, I'm looking to get better and make it that much more, but yeah, I should be like almost talking robotic. Well, like, like, I don't know. Like I can just like, it sounds like Rob to me sounds like Russ with like a, like a, I don't know what you would call it, like voice changer, but I can still like, to right. me, I, he still sounds like you at a, a little bit. Well, I mean, that's, I'm literally just putting it's it's called Android voice in final cut okay. pro. And then I might have okay. pitch shift it higher okay. or something like that. Yeah. But y- you have to find this fine line where he sounds robotic, but not too much to where you can't understand what he's saying to where right. I understand. like, so you're, you're like, all right, I have to kind of, tweak it out other than if so i had you, someone else do i the guess voice I, over. the question is when you're recording the voice do you mm-hmm. speak clearly or do you like 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 would i be like um gee that was really funny russ or would you be like gee that was really funny russ to like kind of change your voice so then when you like put the effect on it <laughs> right, right. Weirder, it just, does that make sense yeah i mean that certainly could try it uh, you know s- sometimes i'll try to speak more like gee that was really funny russ like you know more robotic yeah yeah ish. that makes sense so and i'm not even saying this needs to be changed i'm just it's just something <laughs> i noticed like it's I, I don't mean to be making you worry about this i just i just wanted to know no, no, <laughs> so, it's a, so i always think i wonder what russ does i wonder if he just records his regular voice or if he tries to make make it weirder yeah i mean certainly different ways you could go around it and there's certainly lots of ways to film it. That's why I'm trying to see like, all right, what's the more uh, efficient way to get this right. going? Because I have, to, so like when I was doing this now, I would do Rob's voice in camera just so mm-hmm. I knew this is where I have to do the voiceover. Cause I didn't like how it sounded when I just said Rob's line in camera and then put the okay. effect over it. Uh-huh. It just sounded better when I was using, you know, this microphone and, and doing it a little bit cleaner. Right, right. But for per time wise, and to know where the voiceovers are, I can just do Rob's line, so I know. And then I'm like, okay, click. Let me just record Rob's line again. Boop, 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 boop. So we'll see. It's it's, it it's kind of taken me. This last episode took me a little bit longer because I put so much B roll footage in. It was the top right. ten most expensive NES games, and I wanted the B roll of the game on the Lazy Susan, and then the top down footage of me looking through the box art plus yep. the gameplay footage. Right, you just really worked it up. Well, I will say, Russ, that the, the, these videos that you've been doing with Rob, um, I find incre- incredibly enjoyable, and I, I've, I think I've watched all three of them so far. So, um, anything NES, you know, I'm going to approve. But anyway, so keep it up. I, I think you do a great job with it, and I love I love the series so far. And thanks, I think it thanks. is fun with Russ. Uh, I mean, not Russ, Rob, both of you, <laughs> uh, both of us. It's fun, with both of you. Yeah, and I, I think that's kind of what the channel needed, or maybe my youtube ch- channel needed something where like oh hey like this stands out so like my mac conventions be like hey how's rob doing or whatever and yeah there you go i'd like to bring him in on other things like sprinkle him in if i'm doing a D- diy and maybe he just throws a comment of like hey make sure you have your safety glasses on or, oh hey thanks rob. yeah you know like yeah, yeah whatever so we'll see i was trying to think of like what if i go to conventions do i bring rob and have him poking out my backpack while i'm <laughs> Maybe Game he gets line. his own Russ Lyman t-shirt, you know? Oh, that's true. That's true. Just saying. see if I could get middle a little tiny t-shirt that goes on him. Or are you <laughs> saying Rob Rob's going to be on the t-shirt or I'm like, getting a like, t-shirt like, for him? Yeah, yeah, not a not a not a t- not a Russ Lyman t-shirt for Rob, but a Rob Russ Lyman t-shirt for ah, like I see. everybody else to buy. That like works. it could be like Russ and Rob maybe. Shoot, maybe you decide that you don't need me anymore and you start a whole podcast with Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instead of Riff and Russ, it'd be Robin Russ. 
<laughs> Imagine. <laughs> that would be like maddening to have to like speak to yourself that much. I did uh just just set up my um Etsy page for selling my NES overlays. Nice. Essentially. So let me see if I could share this to you guys, which is it's daunting if you ever try to set something up on Etsy. Never have. Like for the first time, so you have to get all the formatting right. Um and how everything looks. I was going back and forth with my artist buddy, Tom Ryan, and he was like, oh, do this, change this here. You can only upload certain pictures, amount of pictures. So we're like, all right, we're just going to do five at a time. So let me see if this will, I don't know if it opens into a new page. So here is, let's see, does that do a new page? No. Okay. So I have to close that and share this one. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you have to give me just a second i lost my I'll, my audio went out jay's audio went out so i'll be i'll be chatting well, here my my headphones died i can hear you i just need to mute you so you don't hear yourself so i'm selling them on etsy 12 dollars ship free shipping and i've got right now five listed so i did like a full spread so you can see all the ones i listed and i kind of did it mimicking it with the buttons and the d-pad so you could kind of see how it looks and then what the overlay actually looks to the right but then when you scroll through i have my video to kind of show you this is what they could look like and then i did the overlay in a physical actual picture of the overlay on the controller and then a real picture of the controller itself just so you can see it's a physical product i feel like a lot of stuff on etsy here they have these mock-up pictures where you can't really tell what it's going to look like on the actual controller so this way here they can visualize it and see some pictures which i think turned out pretty nice i got duck paddles uh turtles we got zelda sick and then uh you know Add a, add a heart here, add to your cart, and you have your option here. So if you select, like, oh, I want DuckTales, and you click it, it shows you the DuckTales overlay. Or Zelda Scenery, that's the one there. Oh, so, I like that one. Yeah, from the first Zelda. That's I sick. got the first Ninja Turtles. So I set it up because you could only have 10 photos. So we're going to do batches of five. I'm going to do this listing here, custom NES vinyl overlays, and then I'll do another listing with five different themes essentially and so on and so forth but this way it's it's set up nicely and you can see everything and i said like the first one is the full spread of all the designs yeah those are sick so we'll see how they go and i've been ordering um not ordering but i plan to order packaging for it so it looks a little bit cleaner Nice. And uh, more professional. So that's what I've been up to this past week. <laughs> so on top of that, just to kind of piggyback off that, I am at 9,092 subs. Nice. So, so we're getting 10K. really close to 10K. And when we do get to 10K, we'll give away that controller uh, with the cool buttons with the overlay that Russ sent me. Nice. So that's coming. Sounds pretty good. Are you doing the shorts on on YouTube kind of here? Yeah, and there? so so like when I used to do TikTok, it saved them to my phone. So I've just been re-uploading them to YouTube because why not? I have like a ton of them. And so like every couple of days I'll upload one or two and that's really pushed my channel um to 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 grow a lot some of the shorts. It's funny I get a lot of <laughs> I get a lot of funny comments like so on TikTok I got past 50,000 subscribers. Gotcha. So when I was getting close, instead of to try to make it a little more subtle, so I didn't just act, like beg for subscribers, I just put like a sticky note on my TV and it says, follow me to 50K. And then I just did like a little animated hand that like pointed to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I uploaded this on YouTube recently, this same video, right? And because I'm not thinking anything about it, I'm just like, oh, it's just going to upload it. And so the first thing someone commented was, I highly doubt you'll ever make it to 50k, much less 25. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, dude, that was from my TikTok. Like, you can, I was like, you can clearly see the watermark on it. And I was like, if you don't believe me, go look at my TikTok. And I was like, I did make it to 50k there. But yeah, just, <laughs> you face. know, 
just somebody just trying to be mean, trying to be harsh. Luckily, I thought it was hilarious, but um, well, you gotta love the trolls. So, someone had commented in my, I did my game hunting video a few weeks ago. Me and my friend Colby went out to see. He drove down here. We went to Savers, to Goodwills, and Retro Games. And I brought my daughter, obviously. And someone had commented like, "Oh, who gets their uh, kids' ears pierced or baby's ears pierced?" Lots of people. And so I, I commented back with like a fact fact sheet, like survey that someone had took about pierced ears on babies. And that I was like, does this help? It's like it's like uh, it's like that's what it's like the reason same reason you circumcise a baby, which is which I would imagine is way worse than getting your ears pierced. Right. Right. But you do it because it's they won't remember the pain. Right. <laughs> and, you, and you have a cutoff point because our friends came to visit with their baby and the our doctor had said you either get their ears pierced um, when they're, I think, before eight months. Right. Because then after that, they're going to be more finicky to like play with their ears mm-hmm. or maybe pull at it and then yep. it gets infected. So she's doing good. So whoever you were, commenter, <laughs> go get your ears pierced. That's it. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Anything else going on? Uh I don't think so. I mean, I'm sure there's something going on, but I will have since this airs Wednesday in the future <laughs> of next week. This weekend, while we're recording, I'm going Friday to see Goldfinger in New York. Uh, oh, nice! Did I mention I'm going to see Smashing Pumpkins? Did I, t- yes. did I talk about that last week? Okay, so I've already yeah. discussed that, so you know. Yeah. yeah you got well, sweet. I-, I love Goldfinger. Um there was this one particular album where they had um it was a very cure like song okay it, it reminded me of friday i'm in love like monday i don't ever you know yeah, Tuesday, yeah, yeah. wednesday heart attack so that's the cure song but this song went through the months of the year it was like february came but april you had changed or yeah, whatever yes, yes, that's it yeah, i totally remember that song that song is so good that actually whatever that album was was so good and it had like a screw ted nugent song and yes and uh and uh was there a song about his dad there might have been i definitely have the physical copy of that one but that album the last few ones but it was my favorite goldfinger album because of that song going through the months of the i always year. think that's so catchy with because we did it with my song i did chapter one chapter two chapter right. three and yeah i always love that progression or you yes doing months or days of the week or whatever yep yeah i love that i love that that chapter one chapter two song that you guys did i always thought that was really good uh there's a band called straylight run and um they have a song and it basically goes it's it it sings about the different roads it took to getting to someone's house. Oh, okay, that's another. And I thought that was pretty cool. So kind of map like quest it. <laughs> Say that again. Map quest. Yeah, so it. I started map questing it. Now I know where his ex girlfriend lives. Well, it's funny the the chapter song. It's called "On the Corner of Great Hill in Botsford," and that's where um, this girl that I had a crush on had lived. Was on oh. the corner of Great Hill and then Botsford. Did she so, know it was about her? I don't know if she did or not. We, What's we her, can we, we can we drop her name? Can we drop her name live? Uh, it was Karen. A Karen. Okay. Oh, geez, it was a Karen. Probably a good thing you missed out on that. Probably, probably so. <laughs> so yeah, whatever. Other than that, was there any other concerts I was going to hit up? I mean, I mean, you're both seeing Blink separately together. Right. Right. I want to say something else was announced and I was like, oh, oh I know it was announced and you're going to retro California, whatever it's called. SoCal. <laughs> right, gaming. right. I'm, I was announced as a guest for SoCal Retro Gaming Expo in June it's out in Southern California. Uh, I believe it's in, I think, Pasadena, I want to say. Little old lady from Pasadena. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> so they got a big guest, whole guest list on there. And I, I think they're just, having a ton of people because i had to explain to my friend too i was like well they announced me as a guest uh you know i get to get in free and hang out and all that but I'm, i won't have a table uh, i'm not doing a panel right. or anything like that like there are other youtubers that are doing it but they're just letting you know like hey russ lyman will be at the convention if you see right him, come hang out say hi or whatever 
which which I think they should do more at some of the local conventions. They don't do it at the one here at Retro World. Like they don't do what? Like announce some of the YouTubers that will just be there. You know, well, you know where I think they got that from. Southeast Game Exchange is really good about inviting YouTubers. Right. Yeah. And and now maybe we don't all get tables and stuff, but it's like they let you know that we're going to be there. Right. And I obviously because Aaron's running part of the expo, he has a good sense of, uh, I guess, the YouTube community and what people are kind of. Yeah. Expecting. He knows this. Yeah. Because one of my friends was like, oh, man, like SoCal's got like this many guests, like 30 something guests or whatever. And he's like, Retro World barely gets this many. I was like, yeah, but it's it's kind of different, I guess. I've never been to any other convention besides Southeast, so I just don't know what to compare it to. Gotcha. The, I can't wait for the day we get James Rolfe down here. That'll be I'll be awesome. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Southeast Game Exchange definitely is growing, so that could be a possibility. He's he's gone to Portland twice, so that's across the entire uh, country. Yeah, he just comes south to see us, right? So I don't I don't know what that would take. We'll see. You know what? Austin, you know what? Cra- you know what? Weird fact. I'm going to tell James Rolf when I first meet him to completely freak him out. I'm going to say, "Hey, James, did you know? Did you know that you and I are exactly 364 days apart? I just thought you'd like to know that because his birthday is July 10th. And mine's July 9th. So, <laughs> but if it, and plus he was born in 80. I was born in 81. So I'm going to say it real creepy like that. And like, like, can you, okay, okay, weirdo. Can you sign my underwear? <laughs> yeah. Can you, can you sign my underwear? Can you sign my baseball? <laughs> what if I was like, sign my baseball? <laughs> it's so weird. Magic, you're like, what? <laughs> Sweet. Can we be blood brothers? This <laughs> is getting weird. Uh, that's supposed to get weird. It's fun. Anywho, if you guys want to call in and leave weird messages, you could do that at 949-682-9277. That's 949 949- 682 warp leave us a voicemail we'll play it on the show leave it in a weird voice like rob and me yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh quick shout out to our patreon supporters we got dan and nicole's treasures untold joe shivy trace living good samantha chang rodney torres retroholic 16 and austin mills and el flamo 17 for a new patreon sign and flamo 17 <laughs> appreciate you guys That's what I'm um, check out the weekly warp pipe.com. I just added the uh, NES overlays to that site in the store. So if you want to go there, if it's easier to find it, you can find them on there and order some. And other than that, you can catch our new episodes every Saturday at 7 a.m. for the weekly warp pipe. That's about That's it. Right. Wake up with us. Wake up with us. It'd be great. All right, guys, we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs>